Hey, humanity, I got a boner to pick with half of you, and the other half better hold on to their vaginas. See, as a proud robotic American, I am sadly without an intimate member. Ain't got no dick! Yet most of you humans, blessed with the miracle of junk, can't think of anything better to do with it than make more filthy humans. You've squandered your balls, sirs. You've rested your labia on their laurels, ladies. Well, I say no more. Let these fine examples of inside your box thinking serve as an inspiration to us all. Seven people doing arts and crafts with their genitals. Nards and shafts, sacrame, oil taintings, trip tits. The Canadian government has a great track record when it comes to supporting the arts. But what about sporting your parts? So I've had these stickers made out of a design that I drew. And I've started putting them up and giving them out and asking people to send pictures back. And turn these screen prints of tessellating candy-colored vaginas into a wallpaper piece. Much like a pimp, Alex's prime directive is to put more vagina on the street, period. Menstruation pun not intended. She wants vaginas everywhere, especially places babies can grope blindly for them. After all, if every single building in the world's gonna look like a dick, it's only fair that the insides be, as the parlance goes, vaginesque and candy colored for some reason. And tessellating? What manner of porn has she been watching? It's important what I put on, but it's important what I take off. And that usually spells trouble. A French court has just convicted him for exhibitionism. This erotic Jazz Age lawn ornament is called Stephen Cohen. Near as I can tell, he's an especially articulate flamingo that died in an exploding glitter factory and reincarnated as a chandelier designed by Hayao Miyazaki. Wherever he goes, he's accused of indecently exposing himself. Defying all we know about them, the French took issue with Stephen for tying a cock to his cock in public, thereby besmirching both the concept of puns and performance art at the same time. He does have one plan, to leave France. Oh, Stevie, don't go! I was just joshing you, man. I guess that last bit was a little mean. And that's not what DNC is about. We don't like to hit below the belt. We aim higher here. Boobs. Exactly. Thank you. On cancer boobs. Exactly. I... What? Judy wanted to do something different for their breast cancer breakfast this year. So she rallied in some locals to make plaster cast boobs out of their boobs. Local artists then turned them into amazing art pieces. This is what bulletproof vests would look like if hippies ran the military. It's like an arm cast your friend signed, only you broke your tits and your friend was Bob Ross. Of course, all this raises an obvious question. If a giant woman came in and you got a plaster cast of her boobs, and then a normal sized woman who was topless because she was in the middle of getting her boobs cast, who hated the giant lady, jumped up and stole the giant lady's boob cast before it could be painted, and took it outside and wrecked it up, what would that look like? Computer. I'm dragging a pair of ceramic breasts along the sidewalk. And then with a little help, she proceeded to smash them. The aim of the performance was to target desexualized ideals of bodily perfection within mainstream visual culture. Yeah, nothing combats sexual objectification like going to the protest topless in freezing weather. Oh, Canada, you truly are our wacky upstairs sitcom neighbor. On the other end of the sincerity spectrum, meet Marcy Hawk, a YouTuber who uses her boobs as paintbrushes, gets paid ad revenue whenever a confused young puberty going through her guiltily clicks on one of her videos, and sells the boob paintings on the side. I use my tits to make paintings, people. God, I hope that's not lead paint. And that she never breastfeeds. I just hold the canvas in one hand, and my penis in the other, and uh, dip the head of the penis in the paint, and Paint away, really. Uh, my name is Picasso. I paint portraits or paintings using my penis instead of a brush. What? I'm sorry, looking into your eyes obliterated my short-term memory. Who am I? What are we talking about? It's like someone shoved a bunch of stinging nettles on your ball sack, you know, like sometimes it's really, really, <laughs> really, really annoying. <laughs> God, I hope that's not lead paint, and that I'm not 
recycling material because of my recent short-term memory loss. I'm sorry it hurts to rub your dick in paint, though, Picasso. Maybe just having thought of a dick pun on the name Picasso wasn't a sign from the heavens to devote your life to it. On the bright side, I bet you get the most beautiful urinary tract infections. In fact, now I kind of want to visit the home of a genital art collector. Lovely collection, yes, very... Very perky pieces you've got here, well separated. And that wallpaper, I could just eat it up. I love that other piece too, that portrait that smelled oh so faintly of a sousson of penis. <gasps> Is that a sentient jazz age lawn ornament? Did you get that at CB2? If you have young children at home, please be advised. Don't watch this. Also, if you don't have children or are a young child, no one watch this. I'm sorry I insulted your junk at the top of the episode. You're doing tremendous things with it, I'm sure. We're all very excited about your future here. But just remember, you were warned. Don't do it, lady! Don't do whatever freaky thing you're thinking of doing! There is no call to ruin vaginas for everyone. Art isn't worth it! I wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend! Oh, no! No! God, no! Oh, the Zumanity presented by Cirque du Soleil, no! Oh, that one's brown! <laughs> I poop! Dear God, that's not where ink blots come from, is it? No wonder Rorschach is violently insane. Well, at least there's finally a Rorschach test where thinking the ink looks like a lady dropped paint-filled eggs from her poon makes me perceptive and not crazy. Look. All I have is some run-of-the-mill robot-to-human genital envy. But it's time to admit to myself, no YouTube clip can give me what I yearn for. A fully functional, ready-to-install robo-wang. I mean, it's not like you can just go to the robot penis store and pick one from a wall of- What? Why was I not informed? I could have had a dancing dingus this whole time instead of an obsolete scuzzy port? I demand that whoever built that wall rip a dick or two off and send them to me post haste. I'll pay the shipping and dick handling. After all, there is no more fitting a home for one of those than my crotch. We were made for each other. I'd like to see anyone prove otherwise. Oh, oh, okay, I see. I get it. I see how it is. No, 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 you two go on. Hope you're very happy together. You treat her right, man. Well, I guess I'm just destined to be a junkless wonder. At least I made it through that paint egg laying clip without going insane. I'm spending 28 days knitting from wool that I've inserted in my vagina. Every day I take a new skein of wool and I stick it up inside me and then I pull out the thread and then knit. When I'm menstruating, it makes knitting a hell of a lot harder. The wool is wet and so I have to kind of yank at it. Hey gang, thanks so much for watching the latest DNC. Uh, if you make genital art or do anything interesting with your genitals, Please comment about anything else, absolutely anything else. I will delete you and I will ban you and you will never be able to watch another Cracked video. I don't want to see it, but I appreciate you watching me doing it at you. That's the relationship here, as long as we're clear.